still figuring it out. Okay. Why? Why this? Still figuring it out. Why when I? Hmm. What I would like is to be able to get the chat overlay over the top. But I don't know how to do that. Because for some reason, I can't to see. Set hotkey in hotkey settings. Well, okay. Uh, toggle in-game overlay. Let's call that F10. Toggle overlay positioning mode. Let's call that F9. Hi there, Graceful Maria. Huh? Hey! Whoa, I have made the opacity of these way too high. Let me just fix that real quick. Don't worry, gang. We're off to a flying start. But you knew that this first one was going to be wiggy. That's, you know, that's life. Okay. That'll, there we go. Hey, everyone. What's up? We're, uh, we're, yeah, we're doing WikiHow. We're doing WikiHow again. I got a lot of fucking, I got a lot of WikiHows to go through with you all today. Thank you so much. Welcome to my channel. Everybody in Sans Pants is off making their own channels now, I guess. That's that's just the life. That's how we're doing it. Um, I don't know wh really what inspired us to decide to do this, but we all were like, you know what? It's time. At a certain point, you got to fly away from the, the fucking the, the, the chicken coop, you know? You know? Um, again, I don't know if donations are working. Again, I'm going to go through all of the same trials and tribulations that Adam definitely did. But, hey, that's life. Um... Uh, the goals are the same I, for those who were here. Hi, Haunted Leg. Missed you too. Uh, for those who were who were here for the previous WikiHow streams, once again, for a $5... If you, if you type in exclamation mark, I think I've made them wiki goals. Um, you can see the goals for today's stream. Pretty simple. $3 donation, and I'll click random article, and we'll just see where we end up. Uh, um, for a $5 donation, you can pick. Uh, you just give me a, a buzzword, a keyword, and we'll go looking. Is this Adam's stream? This is Jackson's stream, bitch, that hermit. Welcome to the party. Here's a plan going forward. I kind of intend to stream Monday and Wednesday. And Mondays, I want to do a stream like this, where I'm like, okay, it wasn't wiki goals. Let me find out what it was for you, uh, my beautiful friend. Uh, so on Mondays, I want to stream something like this, where I'm like, maybe like Cora questions. Maybe like, um, uh, you know, that kind of thing. Maybe funny Halloween costumes or whatever. And, oh. Yeah, it should be wiki goals. I don't know why that didn't work. Hmm. Exclamation mark. Wiki goals. Well. That's... That's interesting. I'm very lucky, Evelyn Violet. Oh, you're saying just like in general because it's very unlike me to pick... Uh, yeah, I know. I know. It's crazy. Well, it used to be hams forever, but I was like, no one... You know? I know. Not even a fucking ham. I'm sorry, Evelyn Violet. Why isn't wiki goals working? That's interesting. Let me try. Wiki goals. Wiki goals. Hmm. Who knows? Who knows at all? Maybe I didn't like... Maybe I didn't like... Authorize it? Uh... I don't know. I don't know. Let's try, let's change it to WikiHow goals. See if that works. Try WikiHow goals. <laughs> I know, Evelyn Violet, it feels like a crime. It feels like I'm doing criminal activities right here. WikiHow goals. I don't know. Look, here's what you gotta know. For $3, I'll go random article and we'll make fun of that. And for $5, you can pick, yeah, I, you guys can keep trying. I don't know what's here. Look, uh, I'll show you what ha I go to. I go to my fucking Cloudbot. Wait, is Cloudbot not on? Try it now. Maybe I just didn't have it on. Wiki ghouls. That's good, Beachhead Hermit. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Well, look. I'm gonna stay as as Jackson Bailey for a while, but, you know, maybe I will regret it. Hey! Okay, I got it working. There you go. WikiHow goals. Great. Easy. I mean, it's not even... 
It's not even, I don't know why there's the question mark there, Streamlabs. I didn't put that in, but hey. Hey, there we go. We did it. All right, let's go, let's talk, gamers. <laughs> let's, let's rap. No, Big Brass Crab, you could not be more wrong, you, you, you beautiful doofus. Um, that's f a frightening thought, Evelyn Violet. These are all beautiful wiki house that we're going to go through today. Um, yeah, so my plan is, every Monday, and I'm going to change this in schedule, every Monday I want to do something like this, like making fun of Cora uh, answers, maybe reading slash fiction, maybe reading Goosebumps books, maybe WikiHow, maybe bad Halloween costumes. I want to read through Rage comics, like try and find Rage comics from 2004 and stuff, and just that kind of shit. And then every Wednesday, I want to play a video game, so something like Planet Zoo or Two Point Hospital, and those are kind of my goals. So Monday and Wednesday, that's what I'll be streaming. Adam will work around that. Maybe we'll do joint streams, you know, in the future. Who can fuck me say? Anyway, how to bathe a cat. How do you do it? I picked this specifically because all the cat faces rule. I love this cat here. This is like more like an amorphous blob than anything else. This person's finger is swelling to a disturbing level. I love that it is this... Oh, that's a brush. For some reason, every time I've looked at this, I've thought of it as like a shower head. Don't know what that's about. Do not skip this step. If you're cleaning your cat, don't you fucking forget to brush it. Where's the cat's mouth? Horrible. Great. Great picture. Get the right cat shampoo. Has the cat in this picture received the right cat shampoo or not? I don't know. It looks upset, though. Exactly, Haunted Lake. Exactly. I love this cat. Um, make your cat want to bathe. <laughs> Jump into the portal, cat. Come to mouse realm, cat. The cat will. The cat's thinking about it. That's what I like. Preparing the bathroom. First you gotta go in, I guess is the... The message of this particular image. Oh, close the bathroom door. That makes sense. You know what the cat getting at? Getting at? I get it. <laughs> if you do not brush your cat, it will die. It will fucking die. Uh, make the tub secure. I wish I had a secure tub. Yeah, exactly haunted like. That's what life's gonna be. Seven to nine inches. Every cat is bigger than seven to nine inches. Do not drown your cat. That's the rule. Wear protective clothing. <laughs> like this cool uh, sky blue turtleneck. That's, hey, I'm gonna bathe my cat. Babe, put on your sky blue turtleneck, otherwise, and tuck your thumb into your pants for some reason. Well, Grace for Maria, that's because you, there's all the, you're not preparing the bathroom. There's a fucking, there's a, a process. Bathing your cat. I really like that in every image in this particular WikiHow article, the human is having the time of their life, and the cat is, doesn't give a shit. Like I, like, I get that, that's cats, but it's just very funny. I love you, cat. Meow. That's good. <laughs> I mean, this image is incredible. Like, come on. Shut the fuck up, cat. That's phenomenal. Doesn't even look like a cat, really. It looks like a some kind of awful rodent, but I love this. And I love this as well because this looks like it's not... It's not like a physical fight with the cat that's being depicted here. This is clearly some kind of a emotional battle that this person is having. Hey cat! Hey cat! Watch your fucking mouth! That rules. Avoid fighting your cat. That is true. Uh, soak your kitty from the neck down. Why did they not... Why did they not pick an illustration where the cat was having a good time? Why did they pick an illustration where the cat was in just pure hell? Like... Also... Also, what kind of fucking Cronenbergian... Help me figure this out, gang. Hands slowly dissolving in water. This arm goes up to the shoulder blade. This is more skin. Tiny ankles. Knee. <laughs> Everything's melting in this part. This is upsetting. This is weird. Like, at first I thought the worst part was the cat's tube tongue, as one can see here. But this is... And I, I'm moving on. I hate looking at this. Keep shampoo out of the cat's ears. Good advice. Mmm. Yuck. Oh, that's cute. Wash your kitty's cute little nose. That's good. <laughs> What's your cat for signs of panic and distress? Is, is that what is happening in this picture? Is that what is going on? This cat is like, come with me. Come with me to the Shadow Realm, Barbara. That's... That's awful. The cat's ha got no neck. Yuck. Use a wet washcloth. Great advice. 
That's cute. That is what a cat looks like. This is the most realistic cat I've seen in this entire article. That's nice. Blow dry the cat. Give the cat some avocado. Yes, I feel like Zoe is an expert in this field. Sean has two hats. I feel like you're on the fucking money there. I feel like if I could show Zoe these, she'd be like, these are all cat. These are cats look real. Alternative methods for ba bathing your cat in a fucking pail that you would collect milk in. That's one way. How to get a cat to plan your murder. These cats are cute. Not this one. This cat has a man's face and I, I do not like it. Let's see, read some questions. Um, can I wash a cat without shampoo? Without cat shampoo? Uh, no. Uh, how do you remove cat poop from the lung fur around the anus area? Yuck. I don't want to think about that. Uh, do you need to bathe a cat? Pr I mean, probably. Uh, do you have to bathe your cat? A lot of people don't, don't want to bathe their cat. That's funny. Is there a way to deodorize my cat without bathing it? My cat's stinky as shit, but I don't want to ever get it wet because I fear that'll make it smell, you know, worse. Uh, all right, this is the next article. Okay, how to create a Monster High original character. Now, if you don't know anything about Monster High, that's okay. Neither do I. Uh, so let's learn. Uh, step, step one. Determine the gender of your OC. Sugar spice and everything nice? Or not. That's good. That is good. Uh, two options. Uh, man, superhero, uh, Barbie doll. That's it. Those are your choices. Select your monster. Are you a horse man? <laughs> are you, a, are you a, a horse man diving instructor? Hey, I'm, I'm going to draw this picture with a, um, with an ocean boy. Um, oh, that's a great idea. Grace from Maria. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Uh, I'm going to make it as I follow along and then I'll reveal it to you all. Um, okay, so first of all, okay, let's make a, let's, let's make a, let's make a, a fella. All right. Select monster. I do want to make him a horse, man. Okay, hang on. Can, can I, can I add this during, uh, window capture, add, select a new source. Uh, I would like to collect paint. Done. All right. <clears throat> So, you're right, you're right, absolutely. Okay, so I, I want to capture this window. I just want to make it, it's going to be up here in the corner while, while we do this. All right, so, got to make a horse man. Easy. Okay, so we start off with a horse's mouth. <laughs> you know how a horse looks exactly like this? Wait, let me read exactly what they want. Select monster. Yes, I have. Horse man. Okay, great, 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 great. Okay, let me draw the monster. Let me draw the, he's got a horse ears. Horse eye. He's got a mane. That's good. He's got a little leg. A little leg. He's a horse man. What else has a horse got? Nostrils. Um, <laughs> Sean has two hats. This is a horse. This is a horse. What do you mean this is not a horse? What's it missing? What is a horse have that this doesn't big calves that's true that's true uh i don't know agent wgd uh not very long probably around maybe 10 minutes this is okay this is okay that's my horse man okay what's next keep in mind family background ties and relationships after finding a good monster parent oh this is the parent oh shit okay so it's a child of a horse man okay great um so single parent, single dad, ho single dad, single dad. Great. I know that looks like it says single pad. That's fine. Okay. Decide the body type. Muscle bound. Beefcake city. Okay. No, no, no. My my horse man's an absolute muscular Adonis. Okay, and they're gonna be. Uh, what's child of a horse man? I'll make it a, I'll make it a, a do horse man's daughter and I'll put her in a, a pretty dress. Okay. Choose skin color, horse skin color. That's brown, dappled brown. Name your monster. Let's call her Rebecca. All right. So that's horse man dad. Let's make the horse man daughter. Okay. So I just want to move you guys to the side. Okay. So let's make a horse man daughter. But I guess, and she's a beefcake. So let's go. Muscle bound body. Great. Horse head. Okay. Gotta have a mane. That's not right. Gotta have a mane. This is good. Gotta have a nostrils. 
Okay. And then we got beefy arms. Great. Oh, God. Yeah. Beefy arms. Leg. Leg. And she's in a pretty sundress. So let's... There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. There it is. And that's her other eye. And she's saying... She's saying... I love you, Dad. <laughs> Perfect. That's my Monster High OC. This is great. Rebecca and her single dad. She's a horsewoman. Her dad's a horseman. And she's going to Monster High. <laughs> she's so strong. Agent WGD. Okay, so I've named her Rebecca. Decide what kind of hair she'll have. A mane. Or maybe she'll have beautiful blonde hair. Hang on, let's give her beautiful blonde hair. So, she's got beautiful Gorgeous blonde hair. Wow. What a, a Adonis. Absolute beef queen. There she is. Okay. Great. Go away, you. Okay. Great type of hair. Computer graphic. I've already done that. I'm on it. Make sure I'm not copying or plagiarizing anybody else's character. Hmm. I don't think anybody's made Rebecca the horsewoman. I think that's just this guy. Think about the personality, which is actually a bit more important than appearance. That is true. Rebecca, she's shy. She uh, she misses her mom. Um, all the other Monster High girls are mean to her because she's so muscly. And they don't understand that that's where her power comes from. Um, that's Rebecca the Horse Girl. Upload it to the internet and start playing. Stop playing. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to I'm just going to save this. Save this as Rebecca the Horse Girl. All right. Yeah, that's why she's so beefed up. No, she's just naturally beefy. Bless you, Rebecca. That was Rebecca the Horse Girl. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching uh, me design Rebecca. The story of. Okay. Uh, can't draw well. Don't need to worry about that. I can draw real good. Uh, no, her mom lives in Tampa, Florida. That just her and her dad got a divorce. I got uploaded to the internet. Grace and Maria, I'll put her on Twitter. How did her mom die? She didn't die. She lives in Tampa, Florida. She lives in Tampa, Florida. Maybe I'll make a DeviantArt account and I'll just keep all the OCs that I draw from WikiHow there. That would be very funny. Uh, can I trace my new drawing okay? Yes. <laughs> would a double-headed double... -headed double uh, yes, it would. Uh, am I allowed to make my own species? Uh, I made Horse Girl, so... Yes, Horse Woman, excuse me. Uh... Uh, half unicorn, half ghost original. As long as- shut up. It's fine. That doesn't matter. Alright, great. I'm very proud of Rebecca. God bless her. We love her. Uh, Alright, how to tell if a horse is frightened? It's a great question. Jackson's op- yeah, exactly. Do not steal. Don't steal Rebecca the horse girl. I know you all wanna. Okay, horses are prey animals. That is true. And you are a predator. No. Reading a horse's body language. Uh, I, I don't like this. This horse has an anime face right now. It's looking coquettishly. Examine if your horse is being ridden by a ghost. That might make us scared. That would make me scared. What's this showing? Is this like, if the horse's head is snapping backwards, it's afraid? Thank you so much for the follow, Haunted Lake. Welcome to the party. Hey, quick question. Did you guys see an animation when that happened? Do you see Bigfoot? I know Adam was struggling with them, so I just want to know if uh, if that's if that worked out for you guys. Yeah, exactly. This is me. I'm doing Rebecca research. Um. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that's great to hear, Agent WGDD. Uh, Agent Agent We're Good. Um, sweet. All right. Watch the muzzle. If the horse. <sighs> I don't like all of these horses. Okay, notice when it stomps or paws at the ground. I thought they were implying horses had paws. Thank God they weren't. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the Bigfoots. <laughs> this horse has no fucking eyes. I am afraid. Hey, if your horse is disappearing like Marty McFly from Back to the Future, it's, it's probably afraid. Um, thank, okay, thank you, Agent. I will. That also makes me feel powerful, so I'm glad. Um... Disregard if your horse is shooting electricity at your mutant hand. D f ignore your fucking horse. He doesn't have anything good to say about you. Analyze the situation of your horse's squeals. I like this because I like to imagine the horse is clearly panicking. And this horse owner's like, Hmm. Hmm. Is my horse freaking out right now? Hey! Other horse! Nah, I ain't listening to you. That's, 
that's just clearly the situation here. This guy sucks. He's like the worst guy at the farm. And this guy's like, no, fucking this horse again. Hey! Awful. Awful mouth. Handling a frightened horse. What? <laughs> God, no one can draw animals on this site, and that rules. Um, face the danger. That's good. Control the reins. Avoid grabbing with your legs. Avoid the scary object. For some reason, a, um, a hamster's fucking drink bottle is what the horse is scared of. Hey, fuck boy. Yeah, true. Praise the horse if he's under control. Oh my god. Don't praise the horse if it's panicking. Good horse. This is exactly what I want. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Whoa, get off. Sometimes you just gotta get off the horse. Sometimes you just gotta call it. Training a spooky horse. Training a spooky horse. I don't know what this is. Yeah, fuck the, fuck the water bottle. Not today. Okay. Nobody's got any questions. Everybody knows exactly how to train a spooky horse. Okay, and let's look at some more fucked up cats, how about? <coughs> how do we immobilize an injured or frightened cat? Great question. Okay, wrap it in a blanket. Wrap the cat in a pillowcase, then put it in a box. Then put the box inside a cupboard and move away. That's how you deal. Oh, duh. The best cats um, are the cats that are one of the demons from Hellraiser. That's what you want. Bondage cat. This is my bondage cat. Yes. It's pretty fucked up. Um, yeah, that's unpleasant. That's fine. We don't like the cat's one milky eye, but that's fine. Use food to lure an unwilling... <laughs> Here's how you get the cat in a second. You bake, you bake a delicious apple crumble. You put it inside the cat's cage, and you just say, Baby, that's yours. It's cooling. Enjoy the, enjoy the apple crumble, cat. Is that how you pick up a cat? That's good. Immobilizing for specific injuries. Oh, that's a cast on the cat's hand. Um, I don't like, and I don't know about you guys in the chat, sound off. I don't like the expression this cat is giving me. I feel like the expression this cat is throwing my way is the expression of someone who knows something I don't. Do you know what I mean? Like it knows maybe too much uh, about me. Uh, yeah, I'm not into it. Oh, that's cute. That's good. Uh yeah, the cat is, is is smug and scared. It's a bad mix. It's fucking Joel Doucheras cat. I got no time for it. How to load a fright. There's a lot of horse ones. Clearly, I when I was picking these today, I would get on... Um, Yes, absolutely graceful, Maria. It's too horny. I didn't want to say it, but it's too horny. He knows. Okay. Link your horse with another horse. Excuse me? Excuse me? What is this picture of? Okay, this is... um In... Legend of Zelda, Zelda for Shadow Link. This is Shadow Epona. Sometimes even horses have evil doubles. <laughs> this, I mean, come on. Come on. Hey, sometimes you got a tiny horse. Lives in the drain. Little it horse. Feed it fucking carrots. It does look like a tracing of spirit agent. Oh my god. If your horse gets out, that's okay. Bring it back. Bring in a different horse. Fuck it. Feed your horse a chicken McNugget. Horses love McDonald's. Tell you fucking what. That is that is true. This horse is an alien horse, but it still loves McNugget. Feed your horse shards. It, it loves shards. That's good. Put your horse back in. Leading your horse patiently. Don't, don't. I mean, I don't know anything about horses, but I know that that's not what you're meant to do. Don't grab a horse by its tail. That's like fucking day one, Spongebob. Don't grab your strange genitalless horse by its tail. Come on. Uh, come in, horse. What? Well, come into the trailer with me. Is she leading it by its lips? That's upsetting. Uh, this is a way... All horses love this. Uh, you do the friends clap. And they're into it. They'll do what you like. Horses love friends. This is fucked up. I don't know what this is. This is a fucked up thing to do to a horse. What does this achieve? Is it a muzzle? Horse love nugget. Ah, uh, horse. <laughs> this rolls. Horse, you see the fucking time? Barbara, I'm looking off into the distance. Horse, we gotta get to the fucking expo. Um, whatever, horse bucks. That, that's, look, that's your problem, not mine. How to be less scared at night. Hey, here's a question for the chat. When was the last time you were scared of ghosts? 
Like, do you remember as a kid, you would lie in bed and you would just be like, what if I see a ghost? Do you still get that fear? Because I do sometimes. I'm like, oh my god, what if I see a fucking ghost? Uh, thank you for the follow, Agent. Much appreciated. Um, Alright, so. Confronting anxiety. That's fair. This is a huge bed for this child. Um, <laughs> name your fears. I'm scared of trees, so... Uh, say, I am scared, or I am anxious, or I am having a frightening thought. Say, I am scared of the tree. Oh, that is scary, Graceful Maria. Yeah, I think, I think we're all adult enough to admit that sometimes we're scared of ghosts. I think that doesn't, that, that doesn't make us cowards. You know, ghosts are scary, I don't know. That's, that's, that's life. That doesn't mean nothing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. Well, the other Eve, that, that's still scary now. Address yourself by name, Jane. <laughs> Do you, is this listening to scaredy boys? Absolutely. Not ghosts. Yeah, that's... Well, ghosts... Again, and it's that, like, irrational fear thing where for some reason you're scared of them, but, like, if you saw a ghost, you'd be fine because it's a, just a ghost. It's a dead guy. I like... I love this image. Jane. Why? Now Jane... Oh, it's like to talk to yourself. Jane, there's no such thing as ghosts. Keep a journal. Speak to a friend or family member. I'm scared of ghosts. Speak to a therapist. I'm scared of ghosts. Feel the sense... Oh, pray. Lord... Let the ghosts not hurt me tonight. That is nice. Sleep with a pillow. Cuddle a pillow. Sleep with a little kitty cat. Um, falling asleep and staying asleep. Is he... I like to imagine this man is dreaming about brushing his teeth. Um, so that's a grandma... Yeah, that's scary, Agent. That stresses me out. I don't like that. Take a warm... Oh, I thought she was asleep in the bath for a second. Stay active. Being less scared as a kid. That's frightening. This is a frightening image. When your mom tries to eat you a hole because she's a spider woman, get the fuck out of there. Hey, kid, you know what's gonna... This kid's just jamming a fucking metal spoon in his mouth. That's fucked up. I'm not into it. Don't watch scary movies. Don't watch scary samurai movies before bed. Think of the beach. I'm a little starfish. You're right off to sleep. Don't know why I slack... My oh, that's sad. Nightmares aren't real. Your dad's gonna live forever. Remember, oh my god, that is scary, kid. Like a muscle-bound Mickey Mouse clown. I'm scared of that, yeah. Yeah, she probably, you're, you're right, beach at home. It just probably needs new batteries. I feel like someone's going to rob me. What do I do? They, I mean, I, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> um, don't watch scary things. Always keep a teddy bear with you. This is, this is all good advice. What do I do if I'm a teenager and I am scared? Read a book. That's okay. Um, JDG, uh, 1607, welcome to the party. How to not be scared during a movie? Uh, here's a memory I have. As a kid, I was, like, terrified of scary movies. I was scared of Ghostbusters too. And then as I became a teenager, like, it would be the thing where you'd, like, go to a house party and then everyone would gather around to watch a scary movie. And that was always, like, like a high-stress situation for me because, like, I don't want to seem like a coward and be like, oh, I'm just gonna be outside while everyone watches the scary movie. Thanks for the follow, The Other Eve. Um, oh yeah, yeah, Haunted Lake, that's very stressful. I'm very glad I don't have sleep paralysis. I'm, that sucks. Um, but yeah, but learning how to not be scared during a movie would have been useful for me. Um, is that... Why do none of these wikiHow images look like fucking anything? Is that her arm? A cushion? Did, 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 what? Okay. Watch in a well-lit, comfortable place. That is good advice. Don't Watching a scary movie at night on your laptop is frightening because you always think when you close the laptop, you're going to see something on the other side. That's what frightens me. Uh, get a blanket or hoodie. Yeah, if that makes you comfortable. Read about the movie. Yeah, this is good advice. So many scary movies I've been like, let me just read the synopsis first. Don't want to get spooked. Avoid looking or listening. <laughs> Don't see the movie. Shut your eyes. Grimace. This actually image just looks like the movie's too bright for her. Doesn't actually look like she's like avoiding being scared. She's just like, turn it down. This guy's going doing the nah nah, not listening. That's powerful. <laughs> Make an exit when you can. This doesn't look like that. This looks like the guy's leaping into the fucking cinema. Eat something so you have something to distract yourself with. That is true. Thinking during the movie. Just have a think. Just have a think. Find elements to laugh at. I hate this guy. This guy's like an evil goblin of a man. <laughs> what will happen if I don't sit comfortably while watching a scary movie? You'll be... Excuse me? 
You you will not be comfortable. What if it's a short scary video? Well then discount any of the advice we've given. I don't know how to help you. Um, okay. How do I look like a wizard? A couple of streams ago on the wiki how back when I was on the Sandspan stream uh, Twitch account, we found out how to look like a witch. Um, so now we're doing the, the other side of that, the flip side of uh, being a magical person. How do you look like a wizard? I think I feel like less people want to look like wizards because it's just like definitely not as cool. But let's let's investigate, I guess. So like wizard coding, coding, clothing, robes. Um, hmm, that is frightening. Haunted like my brother once had sleep paralysis. He's only had it once in his life, or it was a no. He's had it twice. Once was a gray alien injecting something into his stomach, and the other was a uh, just like a guy stabbing someone. So. I guess it does happen. I guess mine's coming. Decorate your robe. What do you think it would take to bring robes back? Do you reckon we could get back to the time of robes? I think we could. If we believed hard enough. Add another robe. That's too much robe. Calm down. That's all, so many fucking layers. You can only do this in winter. Clogs. Wizard clogs. Chuck in your wizard clog. That'll do ya. And wrap a belt tightly around your waist. That is the... Invest... Invest in a wizard's hat. Invest. Yeah, Ferris Bueller too. That is true. Invest in a wizard's hat. Is it really an investment or are you just not buying a wizard's hat? What is the investment? Can you. What's the resale on a wizard's hat? Consider a mask for your costume. Okay, excuse me. Excuse me. Previously, they said that this was how to look like a wizard. Now it's a wizard costume. I thought this was a lifestyle change. Excuse me. This changes everything. Buy a make- Damn. People- <laughs> It'll pay off. Don't worry, it'll be worth it in the end. Honey, I know. But I'll be a wizard finally. Babe. Carry a book. Styling your hair and makeup like a wizard. Wizards are old. Oh, I, I don't know if they have dark- You might be thinking of a vampire, buddy. Oh my god. Lighten existing facial hair. Buy a- Yeah, exactly, Beachhead Hermit. Buy a wand. The one you're not getting any return on, obviously. That's stupid. But invest in a wizard's hat. It's so funny to imagine somebody going, like, going to your house and you have just the, the wizard's hat sitting in, like, I don't know, in a, in a corner or something. And people are like, what that? And you're like, it's my nest egg. That's it. That's why I'm retiring on that wizard hat. The real magic is in the hat. Invest in a wig. Buy a wand. Invest in a wizard hat. Invest in a wig. What are they talk? What do you mean, WikiHow? If you don't want to use a wig, too fucking bad. So, oh my god. So I accidentally became a wizard. What do I do? Enjoy your wizarding. WikiHow, that is not good advice. That is not- Someone accidentally became a wizard. You need to give them more help than that. Jesus. How long will it take? What? Can a woman be a wizard? Of course a woman can be a wizard. This is ridiculous. Do I have to use a wand? Do I have to use a mask? How do I look like a real Wiccan? This is about wizards, not witches. Can you actually do real magic spells with magic with a spells and a wand? No. It's only pretend. To wear as a cape in my room. Okay. Okay. Let me put on my wizard's cape, baby. Yeah, invest in cosplay. Let me put on my... It's just a blanket, but let's call it a wizard's... It's my wizard's cape. There we go. Great. Welcome to... Well, I'm, I did it. Finally, I am a wizard. Look out, you you bitches are done when I learn how to, when I invest in a wizard's hat. Um, oh, that's yeah. I guess look, a wand could just be a stick. So maybe they're like, get a good wizard's hat and a good good beard. How to regain control of a spooked camel? This is um, and I just like to say this. Is, Hi, Forest of Mist. I just like to say this is farm animals and livestock uh, dash camels. Uh, there's 36 co-authors to this, but only 87% of readers found this article helpful. That's great. Um, all right. Regaining control of the camel. Okay. First of all, you got to take a deep breath, feel your balls because the fucking camel has, you've lost control again. You got to give it like a, cause this keeps happening to you and it's killing you. Okay, focus on your breathing. Wow, this is genuinely about how to deal with your own failure because your camel got loose. <sighs> I've done it again. Remember that camels are calm by nature. This camel does look calm. Hey, this looks heaps like Samway's Gamgee. That's pretty cool. My camel. Is this a little camel or a huge man? 
Mm, don't raise your voice at the camel. Don't raise your... What are you doing raising your voice? You talk softly. Camel, you motherfucker. If you get loose again, I will lose my fucking mind. Don't kick the camel's big belly. Don't pull the reins. Well, try to get the camel moving in a circle. That's cool. I wouldn't have known that. Thank you, WikiHow. Try to remain calm until the saddle stops. Until the camel stops, sorry. Get off. That's the same advice with the horses. Get off sometimes. You gotta get off the fucking horse. Keep a safe distance from your camel. Do not run away from your camel. It may chase after you. That's scary. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh! This is great. This is great. Is the camel remembering a dance you did in this image? Is that what's happening? Oh, that's a, that's a goal. It's a follower goal. So that's just, I would like to hit a hundred followers if I could. That's, that's just my dream. That's just my next goal. What do you do if your camel gets the hump? Try walking in a, a circle again. How do I tell my camel to stop? You use a low constant tone. You say, you say, stop. <laughs> what do I do if the camel spooks me? This has happened on numerous occasions and it's persistently a concern. That rolls. Hi, yes. My camel has the power in our relationship. I'm so scared of my camel. Maybe you should not have bought a camel. Helpful. Um, okay. What if I get kicked by the camel? Go to the doctor. The camel spooks me. That's so funny. How to bury your burdens. We're moving away from physically looking after a camel to looking after our own internal body. Okay, first of all, your eyes are all black. That's scary. You're a ghost. Okay, choose a location for the funeral. The funeral? What? This is not what I expected this to be. Oh, we're having a ceremonial burial for our burdens. Oh, I choose a church. I choose an actual graveyard to bury my burdens in. Okay, prepare the grave. Okay, so you get it. An actual... Oh, no, it's a styrofoam gravestone. Dig a hole. Yeah. Uh, ask the mourners to arrive in their black clothes. What? Absolute maniac. What absolute fucking maniac is like, hey, I've got a bunch of burdens. I've got a bunch of things that I did that I'm not proud of or things that I wish I hadn't done. And then he's like, <laughs> yeah, Sean has two hats, Jesus fans. That's great. Yeah, of course she's pissed because he's like, hey, um, you remember how I, uh, I don't know, I embarrassed myself at the Christmas party? Yeah, I'm having a full on funeral and I'd like you to come. And she's like, you mother, no, I'm not doing that. Uh, have everyone sit peacefully in summer so they can reflect on... Oh, it's for everyone. Okay, it's for everyone. Yeah, these are crazy. Dreads with red outlines. Slicked back blonde hair. Uh, b blonde mo... Okay, wow. Who organizes this? How do you organize this? Hey, you know how we're all, you know, unimaginably burdened by the sins of our past? Want to have a fake funeral? This guy, he's not into it. This guy's like, I wish I was at home playing video games. <laughs> and I get it. Faith, hope, trust, surrender. In the middle candle. Um, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. I relinquish my burden because I must. This is getting culty and I'm not here for it. Especially because she's not holding the candle. I don't... Uh, she's not holding the can... This is... This is strange. Goodbye, burdens. I don't need you anymore. I am complete as I am. The longer I hold on to you, the harder it is. Oh, you gotta make it a rhyme, I guess. Maybe it's a rap. Goodbye, burdens. I don't need you anymore. I am complete as I am. No, it's not a rap. The longer I hold on to you, the harder it is to stand. I don't need a crutch. I can walk on my own. Don't need my burdens in my life. So just leave me, a, just leave me alone. That's how a cult starts. I love this guy. Oh, no, that's... No, who is this guy? I change your morning clothes to a happy attire. Ch even your hair color you gotta change. Excuse me? Hey, now you can have a small party. You can have a small party now. Oh, that's nice. That's good. These are different people. And they all have horrible, horrible grins. Burden. Don't worry about your burden. Eat your... Your, um... Um, what is this? Because I, like, obviously, that's your, bo that's your boyfriend? Which one? The one in the red shirt or blue shirt? I bags blue shirt. He's my boyfriend. Um... Thank you so much for the follow, Katsuki. What is going on in the... I don't know. No, it's not a Sunday beachside hermit. Because what are these, though? What are these, though? And what are these? I don't... Yellow ice cream. 
Birdseed in a glass. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Nothing in the glass. Birdseed in the bottom. Eggs around the outside. Parfait? Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, all right. Well, that that's insane. Anybody who does that is... You've lost my mind. How to bury St. Joseph? Okay, you, we've all been there. You have a St. Joseph doll, or the actual guy, and you want to get rid of him. Bury him alive. Okay. Well, you do it when you're trying to sell a house. I did not know that. Four co-authors. Okay. Okay. Buy a statue of St. Joseph. You can't do it without the statue. That makes sense. <laughs> Wrap it in a... Put it in a little Ziploc bag. Don't let anyone see you or they will think you have lost your mind. I gotta bury the statue so people buy my home. Bury the statue. Don't... It's very funny to imagine somebody, like a drug dealer, and somebody comes for a baggie of weed, but like at the same time, you're meant to be burying your St. Joseph. You get your bags mixed up. They get home. They put the St. Joseph in a rolly. Try to make a joint. Don't smoke the Lord. Uh, bury the statue. Dig a hole in the yard that's deep enough to fit the entire statue. Bury the hole. Yeah, I know, exactly. Thank goodness. Oh, that ro did it work, Agent? Let me know. Consider burying the statue in a flower pot. No, because then when people move into the apartment you've sold and they're like, oh, let's repot this plant, they're going to be like, why is there a fucking statue in here? I'm so afraid. Consider keeping the statue in your home. So don't even do the thing. So don't even do the thing that the wiki house tell. What? What are you talking about? That's in... Okay, I'm not listening. Okay. Saying a prayer. I guess it is probably worthwhile praying. That makes sense. Um, uh, that's... Well... I mean, I guess if it works, it works. Say a prayer each day. Invest in a statue. A statue in a wizard's hat. Try a nine-day novena. Instead of saying a standard prayer each day, you could try saying a novena. A novena is a set of prayers recited over the course of nine days. There are different variations, but essentially, you say a different prayer each day and follow each prayer with Our Father. Can we? Do you reckon we can blast it? Do you reckon we can do it all in one day? I am pretty comfortable with Rainbow's Live. It's pretty sick. Also, I, I have a pretty ring light that's making my face look nice. It's good. Well, I think it's making my face look nice. It's making my face look fine. It's, it is my face, so... Uh, like, yeah, let's power through these. Let's If this is the kind of thing that gets more powerful over time, let's brute force it. Oh, God, guide of those who listen and helper of those who hear your voice. Speak to me as you did to St. Joseph and help me accomplish the things you give me to do. Oh, God, you love your people and bless their ordinary lives. We quietly live and bless St. Joseph, bless what I do. However, hidden and simple and let, let it be done. Oh, God, every love and faithful, every you remember us always. And in time travel, reveal your blessings. Help me trust you, St. Joseph, faithfully trusted. and Never let me lose faith in the wonderful gifts as you promised me. God, our family is the best of the family. That's mine. Keep us safe from harm and never let evil come between us. Let peace remain in our hearts. Oh, God, who loves children, who kind of be kind of children, every give them eyes of faith and seeing fire of loving need in place that are aside. God of heavenly home, bless our home of uh, spirit of Mary and Joseph. Let the rest of the shape our words and actions bring us. Oh God, Father, our fathers, to give you flood and the our fathers now. Like Joseph, give them hearts and devoted love for the wives and children and strength and forgiveness and patience. Give shelter, oh God, to those who need it and bring together families divided. Give us enough to eat and decent work and our, to earn our break care of us. Oh God, bless our families, oh Lord, especially those in need, remembering the life of your son. We pray at the poor for lack of those who need a good home and those who grant protect Joseph, oh God. Well, hopefully that'll have that'll have powered me up a little bit, you know, you know. Hopefully that'll have powered me somewhat. Uh, okay, freeing the statue. Dig up the statue in your households. Oh, you gotta get you gotta get it up. Okay, you can't keep it. In. <laughs> mm, yes, thank you, God. That's good. And Joseph, he's done his job. Saint Joseph, he's done his job. He's proud as punch. He's proud as a fucking Dickens. Does the statue need to be blessed when I'm burying it? Can I just bury the motherfucker? <laughs> Can you take it with you when you move? Yes, it's very powerful. So, uh, I am a Jew. Will this still work for me? I should hope so. Um, I recently sold my house and I want to thank you for the, your donation. Where do I send it? What? Well, send a thank you. Oh, so the statue worked. Okay. Um, unanswered questions? Whoa, let's answer these. Whoa, there's so many unanswered questions. What should I do if I dig St. Joseph up after selling the house but couldn't find him? Give up. Up. Oh, he's gone. That's so sad. Great. Okay, he's gone. A dog probably took him thinking he was a bone. Email address. There we go. Uh, now let's use my Twitch one. Jackson Bailey Twitch at gmail.com. There you go. Great. 
Okay, it won't let me submit it. That's so rude. Um, why won't it let me submit it? What's Why not? Most helpful answers are more detailed. Can you add more information? A dog is a four-legged mammal that people own. Um, they come in about 20 to 25 different varieties. There you go. Submit. Great. Okay, that worked. Great. Fabulous. Great. Okay, is it... Look, I'll just let that one go through. It's taken a while. Uh, great. Fab Thank you for your answer. It's now being reviewed. Damn. All right, let's move on. Uh, how do you get your mum to forgive you uh, after you do something stupid? First of all, say I'm sorry. What nonsense is this? Is this... What outfit is this? How old is this kid? Why are they dressing like a... 2007 steampunk emo. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Mother, forgive me. <laughs> that that rules. Yeah, well, Evelyn Violet, obviously I had to explain dogs. That was what it was confusing it. Be sincere. Don't lie to mama. Uh, yes. Such as exactly. Rainbow's like, it is a kind of sick look. Sean has two hats. Suspend is it cool? When was the article written? 2020. Well, it was last updated 2020. Uh, not very many people found it very useful. I found it incredibly useful, though. Co-authored by Mosh Ratson. Mosh Ratson, tell me about you. You look a bit like Stanley Tucci, Mosh Ratson. Spiral to grow. Mosh Ratson. Oh, he's a psychotherapist. Well, all right, Mosh Ratson. You have a fun name to say. Uh, okay. Yeah, give Mama flowers. Tell the truth. <laughs> Kid, kill your mom. Surely that's... Surely this image is from a separate article called How to Listen to the Terrible Gnome That Tells You to Kill Your Family Members. Kill your brother. Nah, 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 nah. Awful. Awful. Son, you gotta get rid of the gnome. Um, choose a good time. I don't know how this image is that. Your mom, she got onion hair. But, she, you know, that's fine. Listen to what she says. Don't point at your mom. This kid, all these outfits are crazy. That's nuts. Hey, mama, how about you forgive me for once in your life? I don't know why they're all Italian, but they are. Try to fix your mistake. If you're a sort of uh, poor peasant boy uh, and you break your wooden bus, the only toy you have, uh, fix, fix it yourself, you child, you infant child. Write I'm sorry on a piece of paper. That'll do it. That's how you, mom forgives you. You put in the effort. That's what she cares about. Understand forgiveness takes time. This is interesting because that's clearly not him. I don't know what he's saying here. Huh. If a, if a mother tried to forgive her son by giving him daisies, that would take time. I wonder if that applies to my situation. No, she's not perfect either. Mom, also kind of a piece of shit. You know? Poverty's perfect, baby. Showing you sorry by being on your best behavior. That's, that is true. They bought two different kinds of lettuce, I notice. And a, a bag and miscellaneous pink. Work together, not against each other. Sorry, sorry, mom, I can't hear you. I know you became a statue, but, you know. Hey, sometimes you gotta leave home. <laughs> sometimes you gotta go. That's my takeaway here. Sometimes you gotta run away from home. Hey, that's, you know, that's not true. Do the Pledge of Allegiance. Mama, I love you and America. Maybe he's about to do the Star Trek thing. Forgive me, mom. Live long and prosper. Come on. Yeah, the kid's age is nuts. What? What is this? What is... That's not a hair. Hey, you gotta... This hair... This kid's hair... It's doing a loop-de-loop. -loop. This... No kid has that hair. The, no kid... Excuse me? That's insane. The, they can't just not comment on the loop-de-loop -loop hair. Maybe it's like a terrible attempt at drawing... Like a ponytail? I don't know. It's... Frankly, it's horrible. It's cooler than anyone's hair, Rainbow's Live. That's insane. Do nice things for your mom. Do things that you know she'll like. Oh, mom's hand is like a paddle. Oh, that kid's got a devil eyes. Not into it. Being respectful. Don't ignore her. Use a respectful tone. Accept your punishment. Be mature. Hey, it's Mosh Ratson again! Yeah! Mosh Ratson! I love Mosh Ratson. Let's draw a picture of Mosh Ratson. Maybe we'll send it to him. Okay. 
Let me get a. Let me get the. What was Mush Ratson's head look like? Okay, and he's got a kind of pointy ears. He's bald. I'm Mush Ratson. He's got good eyebrows. Mush Ratson. He's got a kind of kind of kind of Mush Ratson. Uh, what's his mouth? His mouth's Mush. Ratson. Oh, he needs bigger eyes, doesn't he? Doesn't he? How do I make how do I make the oh like this? Whatever. No. Let's get how do I make the eyes bigger? Oh there, size. Okay, great. And then let's give him he's got a wrinkly head. He's got kind of these wrinkles. Mush Ratson. He's got kind of like downturned mouth as well. And he's got like a like a chin lump. And he's got like some of these. Mush Ratson. It's the adventures of Mush Ratson. I want to get a better look at him. Okay. Well, I can't. All right. And 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 this is a funny joke. I think me and Mush Ratson will get will enjoy together. I'm gonna make him a rat. You know, because 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 Ratson is his name, so and then we give him a little body like this, and a little rat leg, and then he's got a long, kind of rat tail. Um, and let's just color this in, so like, cause so he gets it. Oh no, where's the hole? Poor Mosh Ratson. He doesn't know how much I love him. Okay, let's just. Let's just let, let's just let's just cover up any holes. All right. Okay, so it's it's there, there that the hole is. Okay. Oh, it's at the tip of the tail. Okay, great. No, but I want it to be gray. And then, and then I want. Let's do a little line there. No. There, and then it's because it's like a pink tail, like rat's got a pink tail, and then it's got lines on it, like all rat tails do. And then, like a little rat tail, there's Mosh Ratson. Do you reckon he'd be happy with this? Oh, we should put Mosh Ratson up here. Mosh Ratson. Great. Beautiful. And I'll save that. I'll save that. That's Mosh Ratson. I'm going to get off my... This. It's... Look. It's too warm for me. Okay. There you go. Mosh Ratson. Beautiful. Be thank you so much. And I, I hope... <gasps> Mosh Ratson has glasses on. I didn't even do the glasses. Oh my god. Mosh Ratson. What kind of glasses? They're like little circle ones. Okay. Let me go over there. And then there. Oh. And then there. All right, great. Great. All right, that's Mosh Ratson. Um, thank you so much. My mom bought it for me. Pretty happy about it. Um... Do I look? Let's not send Mosh Rats in a drawing I did of him as a rat, um, because that's that's mean. <laughs> Please don't send it to him. That's for us. Me drawing Mosh Rats in is for us. Uh, okay, this is the article. This is the article that I picked because it's what made me want to do WikiHow in the first place because I find it so funny. How to admit to a foot fetish? Okay, laying the groundwork, babe. Hey. Let me tell you a little something about myself. Let me tell you about what gets me off, okay? Um, thank goodness. Okay. Uh, and then you start touching your feet. First of all, you just lay the groundwork. You're like, oh, hey, let me, hey, let's, let's talk about what, what our kinks are. Start touching your feet. And then big inhale. Straight away, massive inhale. See how they react. <laughs> Is she going to be chill with that? There's just no transition here. There's no transition between rub foot, inhale. Deep, deep, deep inhale. I love this as well. She, he's not even... It's like he's whispering the secrets of the universe to her feet. He's also 
like frighteningly he's like james bondishly handsome it's crazy feet the little tootsies let me tell you the secrets of the world it's incredible then there's admitting you've got a foot fetish pick the right time to do it when your hands are on her feet is probably not the best time i would say because if she's not into it you're, you're in too deep already don't do it but everyone's so fucking calm in all of these things i, lo- I love this this is so funny exactly beach said hermit where's a man feet fetishist yeah she's not happy act a little nervous Though your foot fetish may be something you've had for years, it seems perfectly normal to you. Should be considerate to your partner. Act like you hate it. <laughs> it does look like Tom Cruise. Oh my god. Have you heard about Scientel? Let me tell you about Xenu feet. And she's like, what's he saying down there? What's little Tom Cruise saying to my feet down there? What's going on? She hates it. She's cut. She's also really sunburnt. Yeah, ex- yeah. That, well, that's kind of like what the images seem to imply. Like this. I know. If my man's is down by my feet, fucking getting ready to eat them like a cob of corn, I know what's going on. <laughs> is he crying? Yeah, he's upset. She's like, babe, I don't want you to, don't, I don't like your feet. And she's cut about it. Babe, I want to fuck your foot. All right. I love this hand gesture. Has so much power to it. I love it. Yeah, me too. All these women where she's like, what is he saying? Why is he so aggressive about this? Christ. Thank you, De- uh, Deck Cypher or Decipher. Thank you so much for following. Um, this I love this picture as well. Look at him just eyeballing the feet. Hmm. Maybe later I get down there and I tell those feet a little something or other. Anyway, I just love this. And I love this. How do I admit to a full fetish to my parents? Fucking don't. You don't have to admit a fetish to your parents. That's the trick of a fetish. They don't need to know. Don't tell them. Well, what are you going to get out of that? Absolutely nothing. It, it, spit it out. It's great. Spit it out. Hey, I have a thing for feet. Or, hey, I want you to know that I have a foot fetish. That's all you got to do. If you hear nothing, you can ask, what do you think? But generally, if you hear nothing, son, you're, look, dear. That's it. There's no need to go say why or how long you've had it or how much you love sexy, sexy feet. Just tell your partner. Let it out. Feel the relief or finally, family fleshing up f- flood over you. This is crazy as well because there are far worse fetishes that you would have to admit. Like, it's, it's just feet. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Okay, um, uh, where was it? Uh, you don't need to share this information with your parents or anyone else for that matter. If you feel like you want to talk about it with anyone, sitting down for a one-on-one conversation may be best. It rules. It's so good. Oh, yeah, that's bad, Agent. That's That's really bad. That's the worst time to hear it. I'm into some of my relatives' feet. How should I tell them so I won't get a negative reply? Don't tell them. What are you talking about? Why would you need to ever tell them? Don't, one, that's fucked up, but two, don't tell them. Don't tell your relatives that you're sexually stimulated by feet. You will get a negative reply. It doesn't matter how you say it. Keep your foot fetish between yourself and your sexual partners. Uh, I'm not sure Sean has two hats, but for a $5 donation, I'll look it up. Um... How can I practice my fetish? You don't need to practice. What are you talking about? Uh, I, I really like, I get the vibe from these replies uh, in the Q&A here, is that, thank you so much for the follow, Julian, 5,000 meters, uh, is that the person who wrote this article really didn't expect the amount of foot fetish questions that are about family members, and they're just like, what? What the fuck is all this? I didn't, I don't, I, I don't, I don't have an answer to these questions. Anyway, I, it's great. I love it. Um, how do I practice my fetish? Great. My friend told me as a foot fetish, how do I someone to ask, ask me for foot fetish? He's not a good friend. Get away. Yeah. Marsh Ratson, he's not observing. How can I tell my girlfriend that I love feet? That was, this was the point of the article. You fucking maniac. How can I know if I have a foot fetish? Are you attracted to feet? No, you probably don't. What are you, what are you saying? Would a close friend understand my fetish? Why? People don't understand. This, it's, it's just so baffling. Warnings. Your partner may see... This is so funny because this is clearly written by somebody with a foot fetish. Your partner may see an advantage to this and start forcing you to sl- smell, lick, or kiss their feet for long amounts of time. Surely that's what you want, right? Surely that's what you're trying to get at here. It's... I don't know. It's so funny. How to enjoy your fetish. Learning to accept your fetish. What is this? What has she got a fetish for? What is happening here? Uh, people have fetishes about feet, breasts, hands, flat stomachs. Fat stomachs, sorry. Flatulence, amputated limbs, shoes, animals, animal furs, thousands of other things. Yes, great. What is she imagining? What is she licking her lips so seductively over? Because I cannot tell. 
Is it? Is it? There's a specific kind of worm, I think, that looks like that. Is it an eyebrow? Maybe it's an armpit. Maybe they just didn't want to put anything specific there, so they were like, I, whatever. Just draw some fluff. Find others who share your fetish. Get at your um. Thank you, Ankimax, for the follow. Anki Max? I think I said that right. It's got to be a feather. Maybe she's into feathers. That's fair. Caterpillar? I love this computer as well. And I love this woman's weird squat that she's doing to look at it. Find others who share your fetish. Uh, eyebrowfetish.com Okay. Realize that fetishes and kinks are normal. Hey, babe, you want the... You want the sphere tonight? Yes, give me the sphere. <gasps> oh, man. That's, that's intense. Explore your sexuality safely. Uh, hey, you know when you're in the art gallery and he pulls out a condom and he's holding it by the very tip the very edge so precariously that it will definitely fall down any second now nothing gets me and my lazy eye hornier than that tell you what avoid isolation some fetishes are more taboo than others that is true communicate <laughs> what the fuck my fetish is if we both became horse people and just devoured each other's faces. Oh my god, mine too. What the fuck is that a picture of? What am I seeing? Oh my god, save image as. What? That's so upsetting. I hate that image very much. Take it slowly. Listen with understanding. I wish you were a sparkly mermaid, but if you're not, I get it. Ask questions. Share pictures, images, or media of your fetish. I have a fetish for swatches. So here they are. What do you think? Never force your fetish on anyone. What is he saying here? I would like to cup your testicles and pinch the tip of your wiener. Is that what he's doing here? I would like to hold the bottom of the salt shaker and play with the top of the salt shaker. He's got such a broad body. Hmm. How do I approach a female friend uh, about my foot fetish? Fucking don't. That's the trick. How do I tell my parents I have a fetish? What is happening? What is happening? My friend has a scat fetish. Should I accept this or try and get him help? It's not really any of your business. What should I do if I don't like porn? That's fine. Don't don't watch it. So many people just like, hey, I'm, um, I got this fetish. <laughs> Invisible cat fetish. I like to imagine holding the cat. Obviously, there is no cat. And then I scratch its little head. Do you think me strange? <laughs> yes. So many people. Hey, I have a fat fetish. Should I tell people? Is it normal to have this fetish? The trick of fetishes is that they're, they're all fetishes. How to understand diaper lovers. I would like to know. How do I do it? Understanding diaper use and pleasure. When they hit 30 years old, that's when it kicks in. That's when they want it. Realize many diaper lovers currently or formerly had issues with incontinence. Look at personal history. The, are these two laughing at their friend who has a diaper fetish? That fucking idiot. Or maybe they're the parents and they're like, maybe because he pissed his pants so much as a kid. That's why he's got the fetish now. Either way, they're ghoulish abominations and I've got no time for it. Do I? Uh, me in a diaper? Old man in a diaper. I can't pick. Me in a diaper. Don't know what any of this means. Understanding some diaper wears enjoy diapers for sexual reasons. Okay, I will. They use the same man again. They've got one man in the diaper. That's the that's the go-to. This old man who kind of looks like um, Larry David a bit, you know. Just saying. Okay, except that Danny, many diaper lovers are in a relationship. This guy's struggling. This guy's struggling to really accept this, and that's pretty funny. He's like, I just, I just can't get it. I gotta think about it. Accepting a diaper lover. Babe, girl, you can love shit in your pants. The rules. Welcome to Ellen. This does look like... What? <laughs> They're on a talk show, let's be honest. Accept diaper wearing. If you, were into, if you were into diapers, and no judgment of you are, hey, whatever gets you off, I don't give a shit. But if you were into diapers and someone came up and they put their hand on your shoulder and they were like, hey, I get it. It's all cool with me. Would that make you feel better or worse? Because personally, I feel like that would make me feel way worse. Love this girl. She's like, hey, S Stacy, I get it. You got a diaper fetish. That's cool. And Stacy's like, I don't give a shit. I don't, I don't care what you fucking think about me. I'm cool as hell. Love it or leave it, bitch. I ain't changing. This image rules. Maybe I save this image as well. 
Love it or leave it. That's incredible. This is the best. Thank you so much, Sean has two hats. Is it okay to be a diaper lover? It's fine. It's, it's, it's look, that's life. How can I stop liking diapers? Look, a lot of these questions are all going to be the same fetish questions. Uh, thank you so much for the follow, Rainbow's Live. How to prevent drowning. I thought maybe I'd chuck in here one that would be useful for us. Because, you know, like, all these other ones, pretty situational. Drowning, probably going to happen often. Uh, if you see someone drowning, go stop, go get them. Go figure it out. <laughs> Thumbs up to this guy. Ian Thorpe, you got your swimming diploma nice and easy. Uh, following for more diaper-related content. That's what I promise to give you, the people. <laughs> big hot dog. You got a big hot dog? He's not, he's not running to save the drowning girl. He's like, I gotta fry this shit. I gotta put this in a bun. Quick. That's true, Beach Side Hermit. Everybody does drown at least once. That's the trick. Recognize and avoid strong currents. She's thinking about it. She knows she shouldn't, but she's thinking about it. You can tell. Whoa. Uh, look, if you're fractaling out, if you're about to go to the fractal dimension, maybe drowning isn't, you know, shouldn't be the thing you're worried about the most. Feel yourself such to, to lose control. Tread water afloat. Oh, that's so great. Sean has two hats. I'm really glad. Uh, hopefully, yeah, I'll, I'll try and read through this so that it can, can help you. Okay, let me ask you a question. Um, are you feeling yourself starting to lose control? And is it making you a little bit pissed off like the man in the image? Let me know. Don't drink wine before going swimming. Especially not two bottles of wine. That's just asking for trouble. Okay, suck the life force out of your clone. <laughs> yeah, take note, it might be an eight. That's true, Rainbow's Live. This guy, he's found a clone of himself on the beach and he's like, Mmm, a delicious snack. That's a scary picture. Don't like this. This looks like he's a ghoul man coming out of the sea. Not into it. Know who's most at risk? Hey, uh, Timmy? Little Timmy? Out of the two of us, this is good to say to a kid, out of the two of us, you're more likely to drown. Just remember that next time you're in the pool. The kid will. This image is too horny for its own good, and I'm moving on. Oh, God. What? What? Why have they got like a llama face? Mm. Not into it. Drowning prevention for children under five. What are they thinking of here? Are they thinking the lifeguard will swoop out of the sky to get the kid in the ring who's not drowning? I don't understand. I see. I don't even see him doing like a scream rainbows live. I see it more like a. They, they don't to me seem like somebody drowning they just seem like an annoying kid at the pool that you're like shut up never let children swim unsupervised son you're gonna fucking drown that's life so here's something you can do suck all the water out of your pool then who can drown if the water's gone no water no drowning idiots if your child you can't spot a child that's okay Oh, no. If the rubber ducky's fallen over... If the rubber ducky falls over, your child will fall over. I mean, I could have told you that. That's intense. That's intense. That image is a bad energy. You know? Consider draining your... Oh, my God, they're actually doing it. Remove the water from the pool. Hmm. Undertaking... <laughs> what? Oh, it does too, Rainbow's Live. Good night on the other eve. I love this picture. Hmm. He just doesn't look upset about it. I think that's what's so funny. Imagine if I drowned. Wouldn't that be something? Huh. That's great. Hey, sexist. Why do men and boys drown if they are stronger swimmer than girls? What are you saying? Um. I'm going to the water park soon. And I keep thinking I'm going to drown. I'm not very good at swimmer, but I really want to go in the lazy river. That you'll probably be fine. Uh, Tom DeBacca, top answerer. Let's learn about Tom DeBacca. Oh, I gotta log into view. No, thank you. Um, okay. Great. We've learned everything. How to recognize someone's drowning. This guy might just be doing. <coughs> Sean has two hats, you're too late. We've already talked about that. Oh, is Mosh still there? That's so funny. He's there watching. 
How to spot a drowning person. Look, here, here's the promise that I'll make to you. If I find any WikiHow articles, or if you donate $5 to make me look for a WikiHow article that involves drawing something, I'll draw it. I'll do it in paint. That's my promise to you. Um, how to spot a drowning person. This guy might just be doing a cha-cha. He might not be drowning. I love this guy's double confusion. <clears throat> he doesn't know what's happening. These um, drawings are really upsetting. I don't, I don't like them. Observe signs of drowning. That's the same picture, different angle. That's fine, different situation. This is basically the same as a drowning one. Let's move on. How to increase your brain power. That's useful for everyone, right? We all need to... Every, all of us have got tiny little bitch brains. Let's learn how to make our brains beef brains. From bitch to beef. That's the, what, the journey I can promise you. Okay. 40 authors. Let's talk about that. Um, Haunted Lake, you want to go... Uh, uh, wiki ha wiki how goals, I think. Okay, first of all, brainstorm how to give your brain a boost. Hey, WikiHow, if my brain is already a piece of shit, I'm not going to be able to make it strong by thinking about how to make it strong. I'm not going to come up with a good idea. That's foolish. Just take a big breath, big sniff of the area around you. That'll make you cleverer. <sighs> it didn't help. It just made me hyperventilate. Drink green tea full of mint leaves. Just absolutely chockers with mint leaves. Go fucking crazy on it. Take a break. Look, it's, it's been an exhausting morning. You had a think. You did a sniff. You drank some tea. Have a break. That is the way people sit when they're on their laptop. I don't think it's the way I ever sit. I think I do this. Hmm. Laugh. There you go. Have a chuckle. You know, just have a chuckle. Boosting your brain power long term. Boosting food. Big broccoli. Big cauliflower. Get enough sleep. George Costanza learns kung fu. That's it. That's the image. WikiHow's finally birthed us the best image you've ever seen. George Costanza learning karate. That's great. What Beautiful. No link to donation area. Uh, if you go... I don't really... I, I'm still so confused about this. If you go to the about section on my Twitch page, there is a... Uh, the worm girl below. You should be able to click on her and donate. I'm still figuring that out. Give that a go. Tell me how that works. Again, or if you, if you just scroll down, click on the worm girl to donate. It says you being kind of donating and a worm. Still figuring it out. Still trying to get a handle on it. Sorry if it's confusing. If it's too confusing, don't worry about donating today. I'll be doing this again, I'm sure. That's Dr. Ratson. Oh, thank you, Zamet. God bless. Yeah, paypal.me. It's been a nightmare to figure out. Let's see if that works. Otherwise, click the worm girl. Thanks, Samet. Um, drink water with your no lips. That's important. It's important to drink. No this is another sniffing picture. I know for a fact this is another sniffing picture. They're all sniffing. Everyone's sniffing all the time. Uh, how to speak Spanish. She's looking at the back of the book. That's very funny. Learn something new. Learning something new gives your brain a workout. In the same way that you would do a physical workout to increase your strength and endurance. If you stick to the well-worn paths of the stuff you already know, your brain isn't going to keep developing and growing. Is it wise to wake up 4am and start studying? Probably not, I would say. I wouldn't feel like I wouldn't recommend it, to be honest. Um, how can I get better at retaining what I have studied? Look, that lady needs glasses, I think. Yeah, she doesn't know. Well, for one, she's writing on the back of her How to Speak Spanish book. Which seems crazy. So, she doesn't know what she's doing. Let's move on. How to dress up as Mario from Super Mario Brothers. Okay. Step one, dress in blue overalls and a red sleeve t-shirt. This seems pretty straightforward to me, personally. But, um, hey, maybe it's going to be more complicated. It seems like this would be the one step necessary. Um, add a red... Okay. Add a red cap. Okay, that's fair. It's helpful if you can draw a stick in a white circle and a red capital M. Stick on a fake mustache. That is a very good Mario mustache, I must say. It's like a cereal box. There's a maze. Yes. Yeah, there's a maze in the back of your Spanish textbook. Imitate Mario's physique. Perhaps there's some padding around the tummy. Oh, that is true. It's not... And Mario doesn't... Wait, does Mario have a red... Does he have a long sleeve or short sleeve t-shirt? I think it's... It's a... Oh my god. Mario? Let me look up Mario. It's long sleeve. It is long sleeve. In my mind, it was short sleeve. That's crazy. 
Add white gloves. Comfortable brown shoes. Mario does wear comfortable brown shoes. That's pretty funny. Practice your Italian accent. Hey, it's -a me, Mario. Um, how would I? Dr this is a great question. Obviously, dressing like Mario, simple. But how would I dress as Luigi? How do I fucking do it? It's almost. It's exactly the same. Just green instead of red. Uh huh. That that rules Rainbow's life. That's a powerful moment for you. That oh, that's so sad. That's so powerful to own Mario's hat. Wow, you're so lucky. That's true. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Sorry, I will one. Damn. That's true. Yeah, instead of imitating Mario's paunch, you want to imitate Luigi's lack of paunch or longer body. Okay, get a cr okay. So you get this out of suck up without looking like you're sucking up. This is all. This is very important. I, I don't know. It's it's so confusing, Leo the Human. I don't know if there's like a like a selection of images you can choose from, or if you put up the article and then someone illustrates it. I don't know. Okay, so step one. Get a grasp on what the person thinks of you beforehand. It can help to ask mutual acquaintances uh, what said person thinks of you. Okay, so that, that is true. How can I get an interview with the artist of WikiHow? Great question. So yeah, you want to... You want to find out who the person you're sucking up to is. Then request help. I, there's at least two stars, but I think there's even more. Write a wiki how. Librarian, you're not wrong. Go the extra mile with your work. Most people will notice if someone is putting an extra effort. That is true. Acknowledge the person's interest. Hey, kid, I know you fucking love space. Let's talk about space. Eh? Um... I don't have any sub... I'm sorry, Leo the Human. I don't have any sub... I've just started. I'm just figuring it out. I'm just a little boy learning as I go. Prioritize your own values above everyone else's. If you want to suck up, you got to be a piece of shit. That is true. This is the more anime art style, which I like less, I think. Because it's less insane. Often the drawings are just more, you know, realistic. Let's find something else. How to suck in a helium balloon. This is more important. Yes, sorry, A11, that is kind of the three styles. Okay, inhaling the helium. Okay, so, like, 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 what do you think, sound off in the chat, what could the steps to doing this feasibly be? Like, what, what, like, surely it's get, get balloon, inhale, right? Yeah, and also Rainbow's Life, sometimes there's photographs, so it's very confusing. Step one, you are going to need a balloon filled with helium to inhale all the helium. Which, to, to me, makes a lot of sense. Poke a hole? Why not just untie it? Poke a hole? Inhale. Put your mouth over the hole and inhale while squeezing the balloon. Yes, exactly, Shona's two hats. Step one, suck. Yeah, exactly. What room has no walls? A mushroom? Mm. I guess that would be funnier if you said it with a helium voice. That room has no walls. I must room. To be, on to be honest, I think the joke doesn't work either way. Wait. <laughs> Why? Oh, if you suck too much helium at once, over too long a period of time, you can hurt yourself. Yeah, mouth. I always put the helium up to my eyeball and just squeeze. Yeah, she does have little fangs. That's not what a human looks like. Her tongue is also not a tongue. It's just like a lump. Just a horrible lump in her mouth. That's awful. Having fun. Okay, write down a few funny lines to say beforehand so you don't forget that rules. You are on limited time, I guess, when you've inhaled helium. So that makes sense. Okay, what do you need to say? Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck a woodchuck could drop wood? Betty bought a bit of butter, but the butter Betty bought was bitter. Rough and round and rugged rock, the ragged rascal rudely ran. So so are they saying that, that for some reason tongue twisters are funnier when you've inhaled helium? I guess I don't know. I've not inhaled... Oh, sing a song. Tell me why, tell me why. I don't know what she's singing. Record it. Or someone else, get someone else to record it. Yeah, these are, they're so funny. They call your friend. Oh, order, order food. They get, the people giving you your pizza are gonna be in tears at how funny you are. Damn. Is there an age limit to doing this? 35. Anything over that and you will die. Is there a danger to sucking helium from an aluminum balloon rather than a regular latex one? Um, I don't think so. Why can't I breathe in helium from a pressurized tank? Great question. 
Unlike a balloon, which is very slight pressure difference from your lungs, a helium tank is under high pressure. If you do it, you will die. Should I only suck on the balloon opening? What? Does a helium balloon float? Yes. <laughs> Who's writing these questions? Hey, where do I put the helium, the needle in? Go, so long, Space Monkey 999. How great is it to imagine somebody with a balloon and they've got the needle and they're like, where the fuck do I put the needle? What do you think? What do you think will happen? Thanks for the follow, out of cool 733 What do you think will happen? Christ. How to get a child to stop sucking their fingers. Four to, two to four year old can suck their fingers. That's fine. Ignore the problem. I'm with you. Whatever. Yeah, there's a couple. Is this a bore under the same, Graceful Maria? There's a couple of them. Figure out your child's triggers. Is it sleepy? Is it when they listen to lines? Is that what happens? Um, this child is in hog heaven. Absolute bliss. Eliminate triggers. Grab your child's head and just massage them asleep. Distract your child. Hey, don't think about your thumbs, kid. Imagine you had a kid that just sucked their whole fist. Would that make their mouth bigger over time? Cover your child's hands. This is a bit much. Don't do this. This is bad. Don't cover your child's hands. Provide positive reinforcement. I love it when you don't suck your fingers. Praise your child. Reward your child. Well done for not sucking your fingers, boy. Have a cube of gum. Have a pink cheese. If your child is meeting goals or stop sucking their fingers, reward them. What? Just a small gesture, an extra bag time to a trip to the park or a small toy. Is this meant to be a small toy? What is it? Have a pink box. Have a sponge, kid. Do some fucking dishes. Thanks for the follow, nice Ferratus. Avoid negative experiences. Yeah, unpleasant techniques. You put a sock in your kid's hand. That's pretty bad. You why I order. That's good. Keep developmental stages in mind. See a dentist. This dentist has a smirk. I don't like him. He mocks me. I'm 10 and I still suck my fingers, though I've tried all the tactics listed below. Any other ideas? Damn it. Locked away. What if your child laughs or ignores your attempts to end his or her finger sucking? This is great because this is like the kids in charge. There's nothing I can do. Where did everybody stop sucking their fingers? I, I don't really don't remember. Um, all right. How to sleep at your boyfriend's house for the first time. First night you spend at your boyfriend's house can be exciting, but you may be a little nervous too. Uh, if you feel comfortable enough with your boyfriend to stay over at his place, that's a great sign for your relationship. It's progressing well. Simply be yourself. Plan ahead and keep communication going for a smooth first time at his house. Uh, this is co-authored by Maria Avgatidis. 16 co-authors, 100% of those readers found it helpful. Thank you, 1D4 plus 1, for the follow. Much appreciated. Um, you're a champion. You're all beautiful angels. That rules Rainbow's life. I used to be able to put my fist in my mouth, but not anymore. Such a tragedy. Packing what you'll need. That's quite an... Choose a discreet bag. That's not a discreet bag. Too busy sucking titties to suck my fingers. High five, graceful Maria. Baller. Pack your nighttime routine. That's fair. That's Hey, this is all reasonable so far. Pack anything for the morning after. Pack your latest issue of Girls Magazine and its charger. Because you don't want to have your Girls Magazine run out of battery halfway through an article. Uh, pack your birth control pills. That's important. Pa bring a fat water cash. Bring some $100 notes to your boyfriend's house. Because you don't know how much a pizza costs. Uh, wear a versatile outfit. That is, that's important. Managing expectations around sex. That's important as well. Good. This is about consent now. I didn't even know it would go here, but I'm glad it does. Wow, this is a great location we've got. Enjoy each other's company. That is worthwhile doing when you're at your boyfriend's house. Do your nighttime routine. That's... It's good because I brought my nighttime stuff, so it's good that I'm doing the routine. Prepare to not sleep very well. Your boyfriend, he definitely snores. Fuck that guy. So prepare to be, you know, annoyed. Hey, that is true, though. Uh, waking up together. Let him sleep in. What if you and your boyfriend want to... Yeah, that's a good point, Graceful Maria. Even then, hundos is a bit much. Gauge how you spend the morning. You both might want to spend the morning and even most of the day together, but you might not. Hopefully you already know what your plans are for the next day. If you don't make plans or you didn't make plans, don't assume you'll be spending the morning together. That seems like... Which one? This one? It is a dope shirt. It's sick. I like that it's a bit of a crop. It's cool. wonder what it... Yeah. 
Uh, did you talk about having breakfast? If not, you can suggest something or ask what he'd like to do. You can say something like, do you want to make breakfast together? Or I'd love a cup of coffee. Is there a good place nearby? You can say that. Leave something behind if you want. This is a fairly common flirtation tip. Even though you're already in a relationship, it could be a great way to get your guy excited. It can also be a nice way to leave him something that keeps him thinking about you and it shows you'll see each other again soon. Some things you might accidentally leave behind includes a piece of clothing, piece of jewelry, your toothbrush or makeup, the DVD series you're watching together or the book you're reading. In the chat, ladies, uh, you know, what what is this something you've ever done? Like, I just can't imagine if my partner stayed over back when I, you know, we didn't live together and she'd left me like a t-shirt. I mean, I guess I'd see the t-shirt and be like, ah, but I don't know, weird. Don't leave, yeah, don't leave, that's also, unless it's a spare, I guess. Uh, be respectful if he lives with his family. He lives with his parents or siblings, you want to be respectful in their presence. Follow any house rules and behave modestly. This guy is, he's good. He's shitting himself because dad's scary. Dad's got big 1980s bully vibes. That's funny. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, Raymond's like, it's an odd one. What if you have to sleep on the couch or the floor? That, that you'll just have to cop it. What I'm staying with him for three days? <laughs> I don't know. So many of these questions are so stupid. How to become a fool. This is a good article. Everybody check the wiki how, the, the, the URL above. Because this, I think, is a great article to send to someone if they've done something stupid. Yeah, it's true, Rainbow's Life. Yeah, you do need some alone time. But it also just seems... It's, I feel like if I'm going over to a partner's house, I, like, I don't live there, so presumably we'll spend some time together. Uh, but I agree. I think it's, it's massively important for any relationship that obviously you're not going to spend all of your time together. Thank you, David J. Bird, for the follow. All right. Whoa! Whoa! Calm down, face. Um, so this is how you become a fool. Okay. Um... Make assumptions. It's said that assuming makes an ass out of you and me. Well, nothing has changed. It does. The caution is that sometimes people don't like being checked up on. And although you have the best intentions to avoid assumptions, still, you may end up being slapped or told off by someone if you ask too many or the wrong questions. A healthy balance of the two is recommended. <laughs> wow, Rainbows Live. Very accurate description. Um, don't read your insurance schedule or policy work. Yeah, hell yeah. This is, I don't know if this is like, hey, fools have it better. Or if this is just like, hey, you want to be a fucking moron? Here you go. Okay. Don't have a legal eye glance over your contracts. You don't need a fucking lawyer. You don't need a lawyer. Just let half of your face fall asleep and look at the big sheet of paper with your horrible Muppet hands. That's all you got to do, baby. Go ahead. Breach your contract. What? <laughs> what is this? I didn't expect how to be a fool to have so much to do with like, your legal contracts. That's so funny. Okay. Once your contract is signed, a sure way to drink of the cup of foolishness is to breach, in brackets, violate your contract. Although a breach of contract can be a strategic move, yet generally this should be avoided. Exactly. Oh, no. This is... This is bad. I don't... Oh. Horrible eyes. This is also a new art style. Purchase real estate timeshares or property fractions without physically viewing the property. If you found a hundred million dollar property, get your million dollar note out, give it to the guy that says he's got the house. That's all you need to do. Your computer's at risk. I'm not even looking. I'm not even looking that my computer's at risk. I love it. Yeah, this feels like Dusha saying all the things that I do in life. Try to fix a man slash woman. That is a good way to be a fool. Try to teach someone a lesson by just grappling their head. Engage in extramarital affair. This one doesn't apply to open marriages. Oh, but it's within the limits. Uh, if it's within the limits of your usual understanding. <laughs> take, take justice into your own hands. <laughs> that rules. This article is the best. How to be just the biggest moron. Take justice into your own hands. Fight criminals with your fists, you child. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Gossip, slander, or demean someone. Worthwhile advice. Believe everything you read or hear. All of these faces are so fucking incredible. Just drawing the stupidest motherfuckers they feasibly could. Make promises you cannot keep. I swear I will keep your secret to the grave. And they're like, David, aren't you doing that becoming a fucking moron thing at the moment? No. 
Read contraindications on medicine. Indication. Fuck yeah. Believe HIV and STDs only happen to other people. Who is this article for? Also, those people aren't having sex. That's not what it would look like. And there's no questions, because obviously people get it. What is, I've got a question. Um, what the hell? No. Who the hell is this article for? God bless. Uh, Jackson Bailey Twitch at gmail.com. Submit. Great. All right. Here's some tips. Here's some advice. <laughs> I did tell your parents about the foot fetish. <laughs> Absolutely. Hel uh, help your friends when you see they are falling into foolishness or seek help from friends, preferably before the damage is done. Wasn't this about how to do this? Often mentorship and wise counsel are irreplaceable, but not always so. Surround yourself. Okay, so this is like you're being a moron. Great question, Grace from Maria. This is like you're being a moron and the advice is like how to, you know, not cop it. Uh, 50, 50, 50 percent of people, fifty-four votes. Um, so sixty-six percent of people kept, found it useful. I frankly didn't. I'll be honest with you. Uh, please end every post with God bless. No matter. Oh, absolutely, of course. Uh, okay, how to hire a clown. This is important. This is useful. Obviously, if you're being a fool, you might not need a clown. You are a clown yourself in that situation, but you also need to know how to hire a clown. Create a list of local clowns. What do we got? Bozo the clown, Blossom the clown, Archu. Cho Chu, little derivative. Cho Chu, Cha Chu, no Cho Chu, and then Smarty Pants. These are the local clowns. This woman's local clowns. If any of you in the chat know a local clown, I don't believe you. So <laughs> a hit list. Bozo the clown. This is Kill Bill, but for clowns. Gather recommendations. Ask other friends who've hired clowns about their performance, uh, and if the clown acted appropriately and was reasonably entertaining. I can't imagine, like, like I, it's so weird, but I feel like I've been trained to not trust clowns. Tom Walker is a local clown. Didn't think of Timmy Walks. That's a good point. All right, I guess I know a local clown. But that means my list would just say Tom Walker at the top and nothing else. So, well, and Archu and Cho Chu, of course. Um, call up clowns that meet your children's... Uh, that meet your children's area of interest. Ask them about the typical age groups of the audience, length of the show, and what typical entertainment routine looks like. She looks like she's receiving some really bad news. Also, that's a really old phone. When was this from? Last updated, January 14th. You are a local clown. There's a lot of local clowns. Perform a background check on all performers you're planning on hiring. That's good advice. Thank you, Twerk Team Captain. Thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. Schedule an interview. This is involved. I didn't know hiring a clown was such a process. Contact their references. Interview. The 2014. 2014. That's when the article was written. With a clown. It's good that she wrote down what she was having the article with. With a clown. Interview with a clown. <laughs> Don't want to... You got to underline it as well. Don't want to forget. Interview with a what? A clown. Of course. Find out what their rates are. Negotiate if necessary. Figure out payment. Book early. Contract. This is crazy. I'm sure you have a contract, but she's got nothing on it. It just says contract. That's enough. She just knows she needs one. Fuck yeah. Clown achieved. Clown acquired. Can you hire a clown for an adult birthday party too? I suppose you can. I guess. What, who is a reference for a clown? Yeah, they were a great clown. That's true. Ah, beautiful. That, now, now we know. Now we know how to hire a clown. I'm as happy as you are. How to face paint a clown. Okay. Exactly. It's scary to hire a clown now. Wow. She doesn't look super jazzed about this. Make thick arches of your eyebrows with face paint. <gasps> it's animated. Use a thin brush to paint a white outline around your mouth. Okay. Here, let's draw a clown. Let's draw a clown. Obviously, I can't, but we'll, we'll, do a, we'll just do a, like a regular, like a head. Great. I... I nose mouth all right so step one uh, and let's color it in I guess let's color it in whatever great great perfect okay so step one with the 
let's do call it this. We want to paint arches over our. Oh no, make it white. We want to paint arches over the top. Okay, great. How to face paint? How to do face paint on a clown specifically? Arches over the top. Great. Now we want to outline the mouth with, with white. Okay. This is looking good. This is looking just like a clown does. Okay. Yeah, I am. That's the tra the dream. Okay. Fill in the area between your mouth and the outline with white paint. Okay. So we want to we want to just really fill in around the lips. Okay. Great. Okay. Redden your cheeks with face paint and a slightly damp sponge. Okay. Well, we can just do we can just do it like this. We can just do it like this. Got nice red cheeks. Looking a little bit like Jigsaw, but that's okay. Draw a red circle on the tip of your nose. Okay. Looking good. All right. Coat your lips with the sha same shade of red. Uh-huh. Sure. Easy done. Looking good. Add black eyebrows above the white arches you drew earlier. Done. Okay. Uh, paint thin black vertical lines below the centers of your eyes. Okay. So we want to do one there and one there. Okay. Outline the bottom of your mouth with a thin black line. That's the top of her mouth in the picture, but I assume she means the whole thing. All right. Okay. Great. Dab some red glitter gel on the red circle and you're done. Okay, well, let's let's just... It's already there, but let's... Okay, is this a good clown? Are we happy with this clown? Let's... I gotta title it. Clown. There we go. And it's red. And it's red. That's good. I'm glad. It's... Uh, yeah, well, yeah, this character doesn't need a name. They're just clown. How to create a scary clown look. I've already made one clown today. I'm not making two. That's crazy. How to become a rodeo clown. Hell yeah. This man and this horse are in a beautiful duet. They're in a beautiful duet together. I like to think they're singing the national anthem. Oh, say. Can't you see? That's, that's how that's going down. Learn about the career path. Learn how to be a rodeo clown. It's not easy, is it? Work the dude ranches and rodeos. Is that the bull's nutsack? Or cock? I don't know. I'm moving away. Get in shape. Gotta be in shape to be a rodeo clown. This man looks like none of the things he's imagining. I'll say it. He do That doesn't look right. Training. Oh, no. This is worse than my clown. Don't be a clown with a mustache. Jesus Christ. Consider a training program. You're doing it. What is this a picture of? What dojo is this? Make connections. Hey, welcome to the club. Oh, that's fucked up. Yeah, rodeos are fucked. Invest in protective equipment. That's not what this is a picture of. This man with a very thin pencil mustache is just hammering a nail into a keg. I don't know what this means. Book gigs. Booked. Great. Now I know. Okay. Join a professional rodeo organization. I love this woman just like tapping her computer where it looks like she's stuck stickers to the screen. Woman professional rodeo association. That's great. <laughs> wow. This man is so sad as he fucks the back of your car. Wow. Can I be a professional rodeo clown if I'm 11 years old? No, the bull will murder you to death. Oh, she does have cute earrings. Are they a little turtle? That would be cute. I'm 14 and I own cows. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't own cows. No 14-year-old owns cows. I tried to be a bullfighter, but it didn't work out. So can I be a rodeo clown? I feel like there's so much to read between the lines here. This kid has definitely been gored. Can a nine-year-old become a rodeo clown? Where are all these kids... Who want to be rodeo clowns? Is it that good a job? I, I mean, like, it's not a thing I've ever thought about, but... God. Yeah, that would be very frightening, Rainbow's Life. A rodeo clown does not seem like an appealing thing to do, but I, I mean, I guess I don't know. 
You said that one would need to be 18 in one question, and in another question, you said one had to be 16. How old does someone have to be become a... I am a child, and God damn it, I will be a rodeo clown, so help me fucking God. What age do I have to retire? You don't have to retire at all, baby. You can be a rodeo clown forever. Get at 11... What? Why do so many children want to be rodeo clowns? <laughs> can I kiss the cows? Yes. You can do whatever you like if you can get away with it. Good luck on that one. Can I kiss the cows? I become a rodeo clown because I want to kiss a cow. There, You could just... There's cows... Oh, here's, this is a good one. I'm rodeo clown and I'm 63. That's better. This is at least an adult. I love this person who wants to kiss the clown. That rules. That was very helpful. I wish I could answer it. Can I kiss the clown? <sighs> Yeah, well, maybe it's like, if they're like really young, maybe it's kind of funny. But if they're 13, it's like, mm, didn't quite work out. How to play tag? Tag is a simple game. It's a classic. Uh, it's played all over the world. In some cases, it's known as stuck in the mud, catch and catch, or you're it. I knew it as Tiggy. Understand the flow of the game. Hey, you ladies want to play tag? Hey. She's, she looks like a cool one. Here's the rules. I'll be yeah, this kid in the orange is so fucking sick of this woman. I'll be the it, and you'll be chased. Choose a playing area. Important. Okay. Decide the safe zone as a group. It ain't the fence. It's ain't the bush. This kid, he's like, there is no safe zone. That's the face here. There's no fucking safe zone for you, child. Oh, that's bullshit, Rainbow's Life. That's absolute bullshit. They're also running away from this kid. His t-shirt's five sizes too big. <laughs> hey, so are your pants. Playing tag. Whoa. What an image. Is this traced from a movie? I don't know. Keep going. One person has been tagged. Continue the game with the new it. Stop the game when everyone is done playing. I oh, yeah, This child has a bad energy. When the game stops, the person who is it loses. There's no set rule on when to end. Well, yes, there is. Once everyone's tagged. What? Try playing freeze tag. Okay. I will. Consider playing toilet tag. Don't. No. No, no, no. What the hell is toilet tag? Instead of simply standing in place, the tagged players need to squat with their arms out. As though they are a toilet and their arm is the flusher. To unfreeze these players, push their arm down. We didn't call it toilet tag. Christ. I'm always tagged. My classmates tease me about it. Get better. Get good. Is it fair to touch someone with my foot while playing tag? Nope. Against the rules. Go to jail. Is it cheating if I hide in a tree? Yes. Um, yeah, I reckon they do. They play it on worlds.com. How to play flashlight tag. That's more tag. How to catch moles. I was thinking about moles the other day. I think we forget moles are an animal, you know? But they are. Moles are real and we can't deny that. Okay, uh, moles are carnivorous mammals that are primarily live underground. They grow up to seven inches in length and weigh up to four pounds. Because moles eat soil pests like grubs and billbugs, increased mole activity indicates a high number of pests in the soil. But we want to catch and kill a mole. Find mole tunnels. I l they are cute, Graceful Maria. Determine if the tunnel is active by fucking crushing it with your kicks. This is rude. Expose a section of the tunnel. Use a gardening tool to ca carve out a section of the tunnel. There are only was one mole in Australia, and I don't even think it's a real kind of mole, but it is weird looking. Set a trap. There are many kinds of mole catching traps. Jesus Christ, these are brutal. Remove the trap. The mole looks so sad. That's so sad. Bin the mole. Bin the mole. This guy's so fucking smug. Just bin the fucking mole. Get out of there, mole! I like that he's pointing to it. Yeah, red pill me on moles, people. I can't believe in moles. Call the cops. Call the mole police. Call the mole police, and they'll take care of your mole problem. Glad you called me, and they just put a gun to the fucking tunnel and fire down. Flooding a mole tunnel. These are cruel! Call the mole police again. Surely there's a more humane way to catch a mole. Oh, you catch it in there. They're too little. I don't like it. Fumigating mole tunnels. There's no art for this one. That's intriguing. That's intriguing. I don't know what that's about. How to start a petting zoo. This seems like it would be more involved, but I don't think it is. Um, okay, what are you going to need to buy? Goose, horse, bigger horse, cow. Decide what type of petting zoo you'd like to open. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. Don't kill moles. Moles are cute. 
The art would have been too graphic. That's true. Okay, apply for a business license. You need about five or ten acres to get a mole. Make sure you have the financial means. Thank God he got it in pure cash. That would have been my move too. If I'm going to buy a petting zoo or a horse, I want to do it cash in hand, no paper trail. Use your resources effectively. Dig a big hole. My plan is uh, put a horse in here. People come pay me, uh, get to see horse. It's clever. Add unique touches, like a picnic bench. Um, yeah, that was grim. It was upsetting, Ankimax. I regret it. Acquire an assortment of animals. Deer, small horse, ram, llama. I go to that petting zoo. Take it on the road. Operating your petting zoo. You want to hire employees to help manage the animals. Decide how much you'll charge. This is big for a petting zoo. I don't understand. This just seems like a regular zoo now, right? Oh, that's nice. Um, how can I start a small zoo in my garden? I don't know. You probably can't. I'll be honest with you. You probably can't open a small zoo. That's probably not allowed. Um, how much money does it cost to... Whoa, man. Is a duck only $10? I can't stop till I get two more followers. It's true, Grace from Maria. Or at 2.30, which is when I will stop. Can you have kangaroos? Kangaroos are a bit aggressive, but their relatives, wallabies, would work. They're all aggressive. Nobody, you don't want kangaroos. Can llamas be part of my petting zoo? No. Why would the answer be no? I don't understand these people. All right. How to dress for the zoo. I thought this one was particularly insane because when I dress for the zoo, I just put on clothes and I didn't know that there needed to be specific. Okay. Yeah. If it's rainy, wear a raincoat, I guess. Hat with brim, extra pair of socks in the backpack, waterproof jacket slash hooded poncho, rainy. That's your rainy outfit. Ah, short sleeve cotton t-shirt, capri pants slash Bermuda shorts. Hot weather. Perfect. Beautiful. Cold. These are, this is just how to dress in these weathers. This is not specific to the zoo. Wet, wet. Yeah, I guess that's important. Choosing accessories. Wear a beanie if it's cold and a wide brimmed hat if it's sunny. This is not about the zoo. This is not about the zoo. I guess you want a camera. Yes. Yeah, I guess you want the, the, the penguins to be like, damn. Okay. WikiHouse Zoo. I was just here. Don't promote yourself in, in your article. Don't wear your sick chain like I get you want to because you're gangster, but maybe not at the zoo. What colors are good to wear to the zoo? Any colors. Any colors. Just wear something lightweight. You can wear sunglasses. There are no... Unless you're naked, they're going to let you into the zoo. This is crazy. What if I don't have a hat? Oh, I thought they said, what if I don't want to protect my hat from the, my head from the sun? What if I want to burn? What then? How do I enjoy the zoo? Because you know how we always go to the zoo and you're just, you're like, I hate this. This <laughs> black tie zoo. Well, I thought the article Grace Maria and everyone was going to be like, oh, you know, don't wear like dangly jewelry that the monkeys might grab. But no, it was just like, if it's hot, oh, <laughs> yuck. That's really bad. That's really bad. What is that meant to be? What is this meant to be? So, okay, sure. That'll be like tigers, llamas, hippopotamus, warthog, dog? Dog? This says, who's tiger? Pygmy ham, babsa, amu, blah, 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 Himalayan boy, or hem boy's boy, ground pen. Fasuli. Yeah, straight dogs. I love to see dogs. I love to see the luck dragon from the never ending story when I go to the zoo. That's my favorite. Find the largest animal at the zoo. Great advice. Look for the most dangerous animal at the zoo. Hi, Jackson Daly. Welcome to the party. Hope you enjoy. We're learning what we can see at the zoo. See a blue crocodile. That's good. Uh, visit areas of the zoo where they can play. Like the monkey with the sex doll mouth. That's good. Or the eye? I don't know what that's meant to be. Read the signs. Take a photo of yourself at the zoo. I don't know why people need these wiki house. How to handle a poisonous snake. I know. I know how to do that. How to treat snake bites in the wilderness. Treating a snake bite. Determine the type of bite. Fang. Because I, I won't know. And I'll just die. Have a think about it. Address your options. Do I call the cops? Do I just look at the wound on my... What body part is that? What body part is that? Knee? 
Albar? Maybe it's Albar? I don't know. That's upsetting. That's upsetting. Call for help. Take a photo of the snake. Snap a photo. Yeah, triangle. Don't move unless you have to. Immobilize the... This is all good advice. This isn't even funny. This is just good advice. You get bit by a snake. How to live in a wilderness. Let's get out of here. Let's leave, you know, the city behind. Fuck the city. We're going off grid. Okay. We got to pick an environment. I've... I, yeah, look. I've never been bit by a snake. I've seen plenty of snakes, but I've never been bit by a snake. Practice survival techniques. Bring a gun. Lantern. Compass, rope. That's all you need. Ignore everything else. Bring the right clothes. I'm going to Canada. <laughs> okay. Um, learn how to signal for help when you inevitably fuck up trying to live off the grid. Try and self-suck. Teach yourself to self-suck while you're away, while you're in the wilderness. Okay. How to find water in the wilderness. No, 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 no. How to act and look like an attractive anime girl for cosplay. Now we're talking. None of us are ever going to go and live in the wilderness. I think we can accept that. We know who we are. We know what we're like inside. But we might want to look like an attractive anime girl for cosplay. So let's figure it out. Get into character. Choose a, a recognizable character. Okay. Uh, you may love a character. You think you can cosplay, cosplay her perfectly. But if she's not very well known, you're not likely to get much of a response from other people. The best characters to cosplay uh, are iconic and distinctive. They don't need to be the most well-known characters, but you will at least want a fraction of convention attendees to know who you're playing as. Um, all right, so... Let me try and do the Sailor Moon move. Okay. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, and it'd be a good way for me to test if the donations work. So please, Rainbow's Live, uh, ch chuck a donation my way, and we'll see what happens. Um... Yeah, I'd love, I don't, I don't, I'm still confused as to how donations are kind of going to operate. Uh, so if you can figure it out, that would be amazing. Um, let me know. Um, okay, know your character. How to be a werewolf for boys and how to be a werewolf for girls. Oh, dear. Plan some poses. That's a good one. That's a great pose. Big fan. Ignore negative attention. If somebody just starts hurling abuse at you for dressing like soldier woman fucking ignore them it's confidence that's what it's about that's what's important i'm excited i'm excited to read the werewolf articles uh wear a skirt that is that's good um sew your own skirt i didn't get i got a surprising lack of things for searching anime i really thought i'd get more um straighten and bang your hair look up the look up the different classes yeah, if you do intend to donate Rainbow's Live, could you just let me know if you have. Again, it should come up on the screen. It should give me an alert, but I'm still figuring it out, so it may not, and I may have to rely on you. Um, but as far as I know, that it, it should work, so... Yeah, please let me know. How to get anime eyes. Huge, innocent anime eyes are popular among people of many subcultures. Colored contacts are one option, but these can be expensive and always require the advice of an optometrist to avoid eye damage. Okay, everybody wants anime eyes, how do you do it? Apply concealer and foundation. Use these products to conceal dark circles under your eyes and give you an even skin tone. <laughs> You're losing your fucking mind, Rainbow's Live. That rolls. Okay, apply concealer and foundation. Use these products to conceal dark circles under your eyes and to give you an even skin tone base to work with. Select to foundation. Okay, add eye primer. Okay, so this is doing it, yeah. Obviously, you can do it with makeup. That's not what we're here to... We want to find out more dangerous ways. Microsoft failed to buy TikTok. Damn. Crazy to hear it f here first. When I put the teaspoons on my eyes, should they be open or closed? Keep your eyes closed. You don't want to accidentally touch a freezing cold spoon with your retina. Ew! I sure don't. What if you leave the spoons on for too long or too short a time? I didn't know that spoons did anything, but I guess maybe they do. Does this work? How do contacts make my eyes look bigger? Are children allowed to use the teaspoon method? I don't think it's doing any damage to you. I think it's okay. Can I use salad forks if I don't have spoons? Don't put a fork in your eye. Come on, guy. You know that. You're no idiot. Don't put a fork in your eye. Um, placing a cold tea bag in your eye for 15 minutes. Make your eyes brighter. I didn't know that. Why, why do I get bullied for wearing it? Because you are surrounded by immature people. There's nothing wrong with wearing contacts. And if you want to have anime eyes, you totally should. Great question, Sean has two hats. They are beautiful. 
You should never let bullies influence you. You have a personality. You have personal tastes. And that makes you charming and interesting. Let them be basic and be superior. Make the bullies aware of how you feel, but be respectful when speaking to them. If you've got anime eyes, that rules. That's all you need to take away here. I can't wear makeup. What do I do? You just can't have anime eyes. I'm sorry, dude. I wish I could help you out. All right, let's see. What's next? How to make big anime girl cat feet and anime cat girl feet for a cosplay. Oh, whoa. This is like photos. Damn. Damn, that's intense. This is not going to look good in the end. Oh, maybe it will. Because you got to get, you got to, uh, bam. There you go. There you go. Would this help if I wanted to be Neko? Okay, well, I didn't get a notification, but hey, I believe you, Rainbow's Live. Um, maybe that's something I still need to work out. Didn't seem to be happening. I'll ask Adam, because I know he had the same problem. Uh, so what is it? How do I'll, I'll take your word for it. I absolutely believe you. Uh, pretend to be a werewolf. Um, look, here we go. How to... How to pretend to be here. I'll, I'll click it here. Okay. That said, do you reckon that means they got rid of it? Okay. Let's learn how to pretend to be a werehole. Okay. And I think this will probably be the last one we do today. Thank you so much for the donation. Thank you for the follow, Vecro. Okay. Are you determined to convince others that you are a dark creature of the night? Well, here's a guide for you to help accomplish that without looking like a freak. Okay, I, I, I'm excited, Rainbow's Love. Um, I, look, if you, if you can find it and you link it here, I'll click on it. Okay, disappear for a while in the night of the full moon. Werewolves are known for their distinctive transformation if they sleep outside while the moon's light, light shining directly on their face. Thank you so much, B-Side Hermit. Appear worried on the night of the full moon. Remember, you have to change that night. Do not make people think that something really bad is happening, and don't lie. So just excuse yourself and disappear somewhere where no one can find you. If you're younger, let, so you, let your parents know. So if you're younger, be like, hey, yo, 69. Nice. So if you're younger, be like, mom and dad, I'm a wolf man. Just letting you know I'm about to wolf man it. Oh, this rules. Twilight style. Open your shirt all the way down to the, like, second to last button. That fucking rules. Be protective of the ones you love. Just make sure not to thrash out or terribly injure someone. Wolves are always very protective and help the pack in any way they can. Walk like a wolf. This will depend on what kind of wolf you want to be. Alpha, stand tall. No, I want to be the beta cuck. So I'm going to head down, prowl like that. Practice the three different stairs. Bless. All right, let's figure it out. Okay. One for your enemy. I'm going to do a macho. You tell me if these work, if I look like a wolf man. Okay. Make it deep and aggressive. Look straight into their eyes and charge around them. Smile at them with your mouth open. When wolves do that, it's a sign of a challenge. Oh, wolf man. Does it look right? Do I look like a wolf man? Are you scared of me? It makes my nose blocked for some reason. The other one for your prey. Charge around your prey while observing every slight movement there. Even if they... Move their feet a little bit or just their finger. Spot it and make that clear. Do not try smiling with your mouth open with this. Okay, so it's just... That's the first one. More of a mole look. That's fair. Okay. Now let's try the other one. The other one's just like hot guy stare. It's like this one. That's what he's doing there. Look out. You're my prey. Okay. For interesting people and friends, try to make it friendly, playful. Okay, so this one's... A... Hey, hey girl, what their mouth do? That's the last one. Thank you for the follow, AMZN85. Talk at someone who loves wolves or is very connected with animals. Why are we targeting them? Oh, sweet. Thank you, Rainbow's Life. Why are we targeting them? I don't want to do that. Um, what what was sad about it before? What what made it so upsetting? Put some dirt and leaves and clothes in your hair. Damn. I reckon that guy's a wolf man. No, I think he's just filthy. Take your impersonation to the next level. A place with many people, move, move as if you're hunting. This will get you friends. Sleep in wolf positions. Excuse me? What is a wolf position? Hang out with canines more than people. You will need dogs to do this. Comment on smells. <laughs> That's rude. Your armpits stink because I am a wolf. Okay. 
If someone accuses you of being a werewolf, deny it quickly. I'm not a werewolf. Why would you even say that? If you're a boy, let your hair grow out. It's like you... So it looks like you're quite furry. Oh, man. That's rough, Rainbow's Life. That is rough. Man. All right. Let's let's uh, let's read the one you linked. Um, here we go. How to act like a werewolf. Making a werewolf mask. Okay, yeah. So this is just like... This is just like... Oh, wait. Plaster of Paris. Okay, you want to make like a proper... Well, face mask. Okay, this is involved. This is a lot. You got the mask, though, for your kid. Dressing like a werewolf. Wear camouflage couple colors. Oh. That's such a shame, Rainbow's Life. That other article sounds so upsetting. Yeah, this just seems like an article on how to make... How to make a werewolf costume. It's still good. Grrr. No phones. Werewolves don't have phones, dude. No! Stand your ground if someone teases you. The art here is great. That woman's chin is a right angle. Thank you for the follow, Night Grayson. Watch wolf behavior. Yeah, just peep some wolves on YouTube. See if you could do that. You a wolf man now? Avoid crowds. What if someone finds out and asks you to transform and you can't? That is every wolf man's, every, every wolf person, sorry, greatest fear. Uh, tell the person that you can only transform at midnight under a full moon, but you wouldn't do with anyone present because it would jeopardize their sight. That's good. That's a good excuse. I'd believe that. Should I get some yellow lenses? Yes, absolutely. I really want to play up this werewolf part. I'm really into it. But what happens if I'm faced with another wolf? Do I act distracted, worried, scared, happy? I just want my friends to think it's real. If you are faced with a real wolf, you are in danger then. Um, the game should stop. Um, should I give a small huff of air out of my nose? Nothing dramatic. Just a little huff once in a while. Couldn't hurt. <laughs> Couldn't hurt. I don't know. Yeah. It's more of a horse thing, to be honest with you. Uh, what if I told people before that I was a werewolf? Well, they would be... In yeah, what? That that would seem to work in your favor. Why are werewolves afraid of silver? It's pure and magical. That's great. This has been great. Uh, oh, and there's like a list of things you need. A list of things you need. Well, thank you everybody for joining me for this particular WikiHow adventure. I hope you've had a good time. Um, I will be back this Wednesday for another stream. I'll be playing a video game of them of some variety, and hopefully I'll fix the, fix the donations um, and, and f made that operable. Um, I, I don't know what I'll be playing, but please join me then. If you haven't followed already, I'd love a follow. Uh, tell your friends, all that good shit. Um, and until I see you again, uh, farewell and so long.